panel off from last time. I didn't end up putting it back. My window is still stuck uh, down. So let's get back to the house, pull the old one out, and uh, get this thing installed. Okay, so here's the inside of the passenger door. Now, I left this panel off from last time. If you're wondering how to um, actually remove the panel, check out my last video um, with the tachometer repair. And I pulled the panels off, and you can see where all the screws are and everything. Um, but as for the window motor, here's the one I picked up. They're kind of a pain in the ass to replace. Anybody who ever had to do one will probably tell you the same thing. Um, but there is a way around that. Okay, so... This little bag of screws here, basically... The way you're supposed to replace this is you got to pull the whole regulator out, which is riveted in with these four rivets here. And then if you drill those out, uh, you pull the whole regulator and motor assembly out. And then you, once again, there are rivets holding the motor to the regulator. You have to drill those rivets out. And then you re-secure this with these screws here and then put the whole thing back in the door um, with these big screws here to replace the rivets. Um, I'm not going to be doing that because... Like I said, I replaced this motor already. I used like a cheap eBay motor. Um, but the way around to doing it that way, um, which I know a lot of guys who've done it this way, and myself including, obviously, because I didn't pull this regulator last time. But I went ahead and drilled a hole here. There was already like a square hole here. I drilled, I like opened this up a little bit, and then I drilled a hole here. And what that allows you to do is get access to those rivets. I mean, you could look in there and see where they are. Like, there's a screw there. That used to be a rivet. Like I said, I replaced this. And then there's one down here. So if you just line it up just right, or you can make the hole a little bigger, you know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, there's, look at all the holes in the door from the factory. It really is going to make a difference. That's why I went ahead and did it this way, because it's just so much easier than pulling the whole regulator. But you can just get in there with the drill bit and drill out these rivets here that are holding the factory motor to the door now being I already changed it I don't have those rivets I actually have the Phillips screws in there so I'm just gonna go grab my Phillips screwdriver uh, go through the hole and take these Phillips screws out and then the motor should just fall right out So I got the motor out of the car. It really was that simple. Literally, it took me like under a minute. I got the two screws out. It fell right out. Um, the thing is, there is supposed to be three screws holding this in. I think one of them may have fell out from vibration because they don't give you any... Do they? Let me see. Maybe now they do. All right, yeah, they do give you lock nuts, but uh, I did have them on here. They didn't seem to do anything because the top one was a little loose too. So when I put these back in, I'm just going to go and put some... Uh, thread locker on there and that should keep them from coming out again but now I have the motor pulled out and plugged in you could see when I press the switch nothing happens at all I hear like in here there's a little movement but this doesn't move at all so this thing is totally shot um, let's plug the new one in here look at that Okay, so now to get this thing back in, um, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get to the screw in the back. I think I'm gonna worry about that later for now. I'm just gonna pop this in, get these two lined up and uh, in, and then I'll see how to get to that back one. But popping it in, all you're doing is uh, this little shaft here, this little piece here is just lining up with this hole. This is actually, um, they give you this plate this is actually what's attached to the regulator that's in there, but you're not going to need this if you're doing it this way because we are not removing that. Which is like right there. So I'm going to go grab some thread locker. Hopefully I have some. Um, get this lined up, slip the screw in, get a couple of them in loose, and then I'm going to uh, see how I can get to that back one.
All right, guys, so I got the motor in. Uh, one problem I ran into, um, I didn't have a way to get the third bolt in. Actually, now that I think about it, I may not have even put the thing in when I swapped motors last time just because I couldn't get to it. I had to drill a hole right here for the third one because here's the old motor. Now, when this is positioned, it's in there like that. So one screw is here, one screw is here, and then one screw is down here. So all I did was I held this over and then uh, just drilled a hole. I missed a little bit the first time, but then I just moved over, drilled it, and uh, got it in perfect, put the screw through, and the motor is installed, good to go. Uh, works beautifully. Look at that, nice and fast. I mean, even if your windows are working and they're just really slow, this is definitely a good thing to do to uh, get your windows moving uh, fast again. Um, but other than that, yeah, this took, once the, I already had the panel off, maybe like 20 minutes just to swap the thing out. If you were gonna actually pull this whole regulator out, you have to drill all these rivets out, uh, take the track off of the glass, support the glass, and then you would pull this whole thing out through this hole here. And then you would have to swap it out and put it in. I did that before, it is a total pain in the ass. This is the easiest, quickest way to do it, as long as you don't mind drilling holes in your door. Like I said, for me, it doesn't matter. Um, this car is highly modified as it is, so I don't mind. Um, there are plenty of other holes in the door anyway. It's gonna be covered with the panel. But yeah, that's a very quick and easy way to change the window motor in your third gen. So right now, I'm just gonna go uh, throw the panel back on. And um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. guys so I got the window motors finished both of my windows are finally working again um, as you saw earlier in my last video I fixed the driver window which turned out just to be the switch was loose uh, the connector came off and then with this one was the motor obviously but you can see now both windows go up absolutely flawlessly um, I actually did go ahead and change the switch out too. I had a leftover, like a gray switch from my parts car that I picked up when I did the ground effects. So I just swapped out the cap here on the switch uh, with the old one so it's black and now it like works perfectly. It doesn't stick anymore or anything. Um, that paired with the new motor, everything is working absolutely perfectly. Uh, yeah, so if you have to change the motor, uh, the window motor in your third gen, that is definitely the way to go in my opinion. If you want to save yourself a lot of hassle, I mean, it's just a few extra holes inside the door. You're never gonna see them, it's covered by the panel. Um, it just makes the job so much easier, believe me. Um, and plus, if you ever have to change them again, which I just did now, uh, the holes are already gonna be there, so you just go in there, take the screws out. I mean, 15 minutes, you can have the motor changed. Um, as for videos, I really hope to get back into having like at least one video a week out. Um, it's just the weather's all over the place. It just snowed again. So there really is no good window to really start making videos. Um, but blower videos will be coming. I keep saying it, but they will be coming. The next video in the blower series is going to be uh, replacing the headers. So I'm gonna go to the one and seven eighths long tubes. Probably also gonna change the Y pipe. I'm gonna go with the Hawks uh, Y pipe. Pretty much what I have on the car now, I'm just gonna get a new one. It's gonna be easier to set the exhaust up that way because I'm not sure uh, how much different the one and seven eighths headers are actually gonna be. So I am gonna just gonna go ahead and replace that while I'm at it. Um, but hopefully I have that coming up soon. I still got to order the parts, but once I get them, um, you will see it on Instagram. So if you are not following me on there, a link will be below. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to share, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.